Good morning, Thomas, Carol, Fred, John, Stu, Seiko, Mike, Steph, Rick. How's everybody doing today? Happy Wednesday to you. Most important thing today is at 2 p.m. Uh, Mr. Carter will be over in the uh, live trading alerts room uh, sharing uh, some updates on the live trading alert scanner. Might be kind of fun. Anyway, if you're not doing anything, 2 p.m. Eastern, love to see you over there. Outside of that, how's everybody doing? Did you eat something good last night? Did you sleep good last night? Are we ready for the most part, for what I think most part is just flat? Nothing exciting really today. Uh, although for some folks it might be exciting that we're actually popping up here on the SPY. Who? What do you know? Maybe that 50 period moving average is in range. We'll find out by the end of the day. End of the day, that's for sure. Uh, remember Friday, uh, we'll have the room open, but nobody's going to be here. And I am really, really talking myself off, talking myself into uh, taking the majority of tomorrow off as well. Just a heads up. One side's fighting me and the other side saying do it. So we'll, we'll, see, we'll see who wins that fight. So today I really got behind the eight ball. I don't have any charts to look at, so I'm just going to make a few up as we go. Uh, and what I'm going to do is look at the uh, scanner because the scanner works pre-market. And uh, here's one that I'm looking at. Take a look at W Day. Beautiful trend. <clears throat> or you know what? Maybe maybe I did flag those this morning. Ha 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 ha. Look at me. Let's do it this way. Take a look at RIG. Now, I don't know how many people are in RIG. Um, I do not believe this is a buying area for RIG. For those of us that are in RIG, congratulations. We've hit our first target. We are now hitting our second target and maybe on our way to the third target up here of near five bucks. Now, before it gets to five bucks up here, it's more than likely going to give us a little bit of a pullback somewhere. Might even give us a couple here. So just manage your trade and trade your trade. If you have troubles with that, please, I, I uh, beg of you, I urge you to come into the trading room and share your troubles so maybe we can work through them. Share them with the group. Uh, the group loves to hear it. Uh, nobody's going to laugh at you. Nobody's going to throw a stone at you because I'll throw one big ass stone at them and I will win the stone throwing contest. So nobody's going to beat you down. Nobody's going to think less of you. In fact, you will be absolutely amazed how many people just might be like, oh, thank you for asking that question. I've been wanting to ask that question for so long, but I was afraid to or didn't know how, or everybody might think that I was silly. Please let us help you with this, okay? Uh, let's take a look at VLO. This is one I've got my eyeballs on. I've got, I've seriously got my eyeballs on this. Uh, we've got a nice low, high, higher low, and now we have a higher high. If we close over the trendicator, keeping the trendicator green, then to me, this has got buy written all over it. Now, some traders may, you know, well, it needs to cross this or swim through that or do the other thing nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that we all swim in different pools and we all wear different kinds of bathing suits think about that one all day long <laughs> let's see john is saying rick i like the y y m m ch chart y m yes i totally agree with you you've got a um you, you know there's just some staples to a chart um, overall, you can see that it's trending. You can see that it's doing just what charts do. Up, back, up, back, up, back. And as long as that back holds that trend, life is good. Yeah, that's nice, John. I like that a lot. Watch that for a breakout. Yes, sir. Uh, SLB is another one. We talked about this one last night. I almost bought it yesterday, but I had... Already had a couple energy, so eh, better not. 
Well, now that it's broken out, that's even sweeter if you ask me. Let's see if this thing can hold up. Wouldn't be too, too rambunctious on it. Um, let's see what it does today and then really see what it does tomorrow and the next day. Uh, and then we might get something going. So I'd like to sit, watch it for a couple of days rather than buy it. Um, yeah. Now, if it starts taking off and I can catch it through the scanner, if the scanner alerts me, it, well, the scanner will alert me. The question is if I notice it, um, then I may chase that. But right, this is what I would really like. A little bit of a pullback here. Um, AGNC, nice chart, clean, very clean, very non-aggressive, just kind of quietly moving up. We've got a little uh, little J hook here. Here's a, a J hook pattern up right there. Nice little J hook. A J hook, I think, is one of the most um, well, which one of, yeah, what one of the most best chart patterns there are, because what it does is, is, uh, it tells a story of higher highs. I mean, that's what, that's what it does. This is, this is, this is a J hook right here, a story of a higher high. There's another one, story of a higher high, uh, kind of a weak story. We get into those stories again, stories of higher highs. That's what it does. It telegraphs, telegraphs. Nice trend there. BRKR, more of that energy running out there, gas, oil. Um, here, the 50, the uh, 34, the trend indicator, the T-line, they're all grouped up together. That's a, that's a good, that, that's a good scenario. We have a low, high, higher low. We're working on a higher high. Good candle pattern so far. Looks like that chart's about to make that right side a winner for somebody. For somebody. MRNA, beautiful chart. For anybody that bought that yesterday, two thumbs up. Congratulations. Yabba dabba do. You win the prize. Way to go. Beautiful bullish in golf. Terrific gap and trap. Looks like we're getting some follow through today. Still in a viable area. Let's jump down and look at old Tesla. So Tesla's in the news. You know, um, they're just people that just want to trade Tesla because they just like trading Tesla. Um, trade it smart. That's all I can say. Trade it smart. There could be there could be one good thing happen, and Tesla could rock. There could be another thing happen and Tesla could drop like a rock. So uh, be careful with Tesla. Uh, maybe maybe don't think about the gamble buy, you know, like the bottom picking buy. Let the candle uh, produce, the bullish candle produce. Uh, as far as a bearish candle, it's already bearish. What we just would rather like is a little bit of a rise for a better entry than down. On the other hand, forget the rise. If we are trading below yesterday's low, that's a short. Thomas asked if we could talk about how we sure can. How looks great. How how I had I took it off last night. I was a little rambunctious with things. Um, I think the target was right there. That would make sense to me. So we're hitting our first target uh, on how. Second target is thirty nine fifty five up here. Um, that's looking pretty good. As we reach the top, it might be a wise idea to take some profits off because uh, these tops here, they're, they're going to make a difference. They, they will. Uh, and I'm not saying we're going to fail, but what might happen is this right here. You move up, uh, up into this, this line here, and let's just say for the sake of argument, you're, you're $1,000 to the green. Okay. Now, price moves up, and then it, it hits that top. Oh, boy, that's too much. It pulls back to retest, and it could pull, you know, it could pull back into here and still be a perfectly good chart. 
But what has happened to your thousand dollars? It's now worth about three hundred and fifty bucks. It, it can it can be crazy. It can be insane. I, and I'm talking with an option here, okay? So don't be afraid to take those profits. Um, and then you know, for the person that says. Well, what if it goes higher? Well, what if you bought it again? <laughs> Just like that. So anyway, Thomas, I think that's a good looking chart. I think profits need to be in the, uh, profits need to be made. Uh, take a look at CAT. I think CAT is setting up very nice here. I suppose, I suppose we ought to look at some shorts, huh? Real quick. Let me see if I can find something. Um, how about A and F? So here we're we're down. If A and F starts to fail, that would be a short down. Here's one I'm kind of watching. D D. If we start to fail right in here, that might be a short down to the 50, then to the 61 down here. Um, A PXD, po possible short, but boy, I'd be sure darn sure on that actually now. We're going to need to see a serious sell signal in here. Um, okay, T. Whoops, okay, okay, TA, there we are. Uh, that's a bullish chart there, Al. Uh, we bought that yesterday, uh, doing well on it. What are we doing? Up 6%. I guess not great, but, you know, up 6%. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Uh, that still looks bullish. Little bit of resistance right in here. Let's just see what price does. Um, but overall, I think that's a beauty, absolute beauty of a charts. Okay, ladies and gents, let's back out of here. I want to say thank you to everybody. Appreciate you being here very, very much. And... Um, you know, this time of year, this is a good time to ask questions. This is a good time just to sit around the room and just BS about charts. Share, ask questions, learn, things like that, okay? You guys take care. See you in about, oh, what is it, 20 minutes or so?